by getting into a dogfight debate. This allows a candidate to avoid facing the real issues of the campaign. In other words, he can smoke screen it by getting involved in sensational name calling and what have you. I'll discuss issues with anybody, but I will have no part of a mudslinging gutter debate. Does that mean you'll discuss issues with anybody, including Courtney Roberts? No, I'll discuss issues with any press member or any responsible public forum. State Insurance Commission would no longer set the rates for automobile insurance in Texas. Instead, each company writing that line of insurance would establish their own rate, file it with the commission, and then go about their business. The Insurance Commission would, would have authority to prevent a rate being either inadequate or excessive. But within those two terms, the companies would be free to establish their own rates. Does your district have a program similar to this? Yes. How similar? It's called the LLD class, Learning and Language Disability class, which one of my children has been in for three and a half years, but uh, is being released soon to come, come here. down here for further help. purpose being here is to supplement or augment what private industry is is not able to cover now uh, whether it be through a countywide ambulance service or whether it be through contract through the county or through the cities or any other manner in which they do it the purpose of this prime purpose of this meeting is to resolve a point of ambulance problems that are now occurring within the cities In other words, so we're not allowed to sell insurance because we're not licensed as insurance agents. We feel they should comply with the driving school laws if they're going to teach driving and charge a fee or consideration for it. Could you sue the people who are conducting the classes? Well, I, I doubt it. I don't know. Might get a court uh, order, an injunction against them to keep them from giving it unless there's other exemptions can be found in the law, which we're not aware of. Are you impressed with Coach Phillips as your defensive coach? Very impressed. He's a great coach. Uh, he's really uh, gotten the defense together this year, and uh, I think everybody out there on defense and all the other players too, are, uh, they highly respect him. He's a great guy. What kind of freedom do you have at that defensive left tackle? Well, uh, as much freedom as you can get. You know, uh, it just depends. Uh, uh, how you play your technique, you know, and if you can, really my job is mostly uh, covering the inside, you know, and if there's any way, you know, that I'm able to get outside and help, well, like on pursue or something, well, I will, you know. Well, we had a lot of turnovers. We didn't let them do too much. They made maybe a couple of tenths of a yard too much rushing, more than we figured they should have, but uh, I think they did that on some draw plays, and we had a, a little better pass rush, although we didn't get the quarterback, I don't believe. We, we hit him a few times and caused some bobbles, and uh, I think overall the whole defense played much better. Our secondary's been playing well all the time, and I think our linebackers and line played probably a better game that week. Bob, you've, <laughs> uh, 
you going into the regular season, you've got 14 games, and of course the inevitable question that comes up is, can you get off to the good start? You haven't in the last two years. Uh, is it an, a matter of attitude? Or? Well, we're, in my opinion, probably a better team right now than we were the last two years, at least defensively. I, I can't speak for the offense because I don't know what they're looking for, but I think our secondary is playing much better than they ever have early, early in the fall, and uh, I, you know, we never have played that well on defense early in the fall. I think we're ahead of what we were, and of course now it's going to take a lot of concentration and a lot of effort and practice for us, but uh, I believe we're going to have a much better team this early in the year. You played uh, in the Pro League in Los Angeles. Do you think that helped you in your shot for the Shafts? Yeah, I think it helped me considerably because there were a lot of top-notch ball players from both the ABA and the NBA playing there and I got some experience playing against them. I was talking with Doug Kachuk of the Shaft's office and he said you had a, also a game against in an all-star game against Kareem Jabbar and did very well. Uh, how did you feel going up against uh, that type of ball player? Well, uh, compared to him, I felt like a little boy uh, at first and then uh, things kind of happened you know, in my favor a little bit. I was hitting my shots wrong, so I felt kind of satisfied about that. And I think the stat sheet will show that you made 20 points that night. Uh, so congratulations. I'd like to see some of those nights for the Shaps. How do you like the uh, Shap offense? Well, I think it's going to be a successful one. Uh, I'm having a little bit trouble learning it, but uh, I think it's not anything that I won't be able to handle. We move, I think, more toward free competition in this area and less toward controlled by the New York Stock Exchange or other exchanges. And we also move toward a calling upon the SEC to exercise a greater responsibility to create uniform rules that transcend individual exchanges and cover the whole broker-dealer industry. I think we're living in an area where the technology associated with the production of foods and drugs and household substances is becoming rapidly more complex. Uh, to keep up with this changing technology, I think we also have a, a citizenry that is becoming better and better educated and interested in the products they eat, the air we breathe and the environment and so forth. And uh, I think that everybody is becoming uh, increasingly concerned with these things. Love has come to Lion Country. With the help of plastic surgery, hormone shots, more surgery, and lots of encouragement from a staff of romantic park officials, Werewolf the Ugly Lion has fallen in love. It's a classic story of two hospital patients who discover each other as they regain their health. Werewolf came to Lion Country a physical and mental wreck. He couldn't growl or grow a mane, much less get a date. Plastic surgery and drugs could help cure his ugliness, but not his personality. He was soon back in the hospital for more face repairs after being slapped by a lioness who was not impressed by his new line. However, there he met a lady who was having paw surgery, and she apparently was turned on by his crew cut and rampant stupidity. I'm pleased to announce Werewolf will soon be a father. For Channel 8 News on the Move, this is Judy Hanna.
is not qualifying them for licensing? Uh, not uh, licensing them to teach driving and charge money for it. Or Well, I don't know if it's easier on the football field, but you have a, I don't know, it's just maybe a little bit harder. You have to do a little more things, you know, at home than you would when you're over at the dorm with the guys or something. But I get to see my wife, you know, more, and I don't have to go downstairs and see her because there's no girls allowed up in our dorms. And so I think it makes it easier. I like it a lot better myself, though. You find that you have another coach at home with a, a wife? <laughs> Well, <laughs> she does lay a few laws down, <laughs> but I don't know. She uh, she takes care of me, so like another trainer maybe. The Revenue and Taxation Committee knew when it walked into the auditorium at UTA that some kind of tax reform is going to be necessary in Texas. Now they're trying to figure out what kind. Most of the arguments today have revolved around a, an income tax in one form or another. Predictably, the AFL-CIO favors a corporate profits tax. One tax study group rates Texas 44th among the states in achieving a balance between so-called business taxes and consumer taxes. Though much of the testimony is centered around a corporate profits tax or a personal income tax, Gary Weber, the chairman of the Tax Council of Texas City, has got to the point when he urged reform of the property tax. The property tax can be made constitutional. It can be made to be fair, equal, and uniform for all. And it can still raise the revenues we need to operate our local governments. Committee Chairman Don Cavanis of Austin feels this committee is the one in the best position to say which kind of tax reform is going before the 63rd legislature. Cavanis says the committee will have some recommendations for the legislature sometime during its term, but members of the committee don't know yet what those recommendations will be. Phil Reynolds, Channel 8 News on the Move at the University of Texas in Arlington.